we're cutting into a beautiful oak. Millions of years in the making. Let's cut it. It's Robert from Global Prospecting, and this is the opal we'll be cutting today. Uh, this opal was found in a kilo of Wheelow opals, but this opal, particular opal is not hydrophane. Um, it doesn't absorb water like the, the hydrophane opals, so it's pretty unique. And uh, what we do on this channel is we cut opals from all around the world, and we share them with you guys, the cuts with you guys. So we're going to get started cutting this beautiful opal and see what we can get out of it. You can see some beautiful reds, greens, blues, yellows in this opal. So it's going to be interesting to see how this cuts. So it's a fairly thin opal, so we're going to even out the sides. And then uh, try to get the potch off here. The volcanic ash. And basically get it into a rub and then we'll shape our opal and see what we can get out of it. And we're starting off on the 220 wheel. I was hoping when I when I sliced it that uh, it was going to be nice and clean under there, but it does have uh, some potch that looks like it's going straight through, so we're going to have to get that piece off. And basically, when we're done cutting this opal, we want a nice clean stone um, with no inclusions, no potch, and uh, get it nice and polished up and uh, have a nice stone to set. We're going to take this end off right here, right down to the, uh, right down to the, the sand and get that piece out of there. And you can see it's nice and clean down there with a lot of color. So that top piece doesn't look like it would be any good. It should be a beautiful opal when we're, when we're finished with it. We're going to have to even this, this end out a little more. Get it down flat. A empty heart and neon lights. The playing with my mind. Gotta get out of here tonight. Oh, I wanna run off. I am Well, let's finish taking off this end. We'll go down and get the rest of this off. I think we're going to end up making this into a, a teardrop. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how this opal polishes up. It feels nice and hard when you cut it, so um, I, bet, I bet it pos polishes up uh, beautifully, but we'll find out. Let's get the rest of this end taken off here and then get our uh, our teardrop uh, formed out here. Boy, she's got some uh, beautiful reds in it. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but these are like the pigeon blood red. And this isn't uh, one of the crystal opals either. So I believe it's uh, probably just an older opal. I I'm not sure why it it's not hydrophane. Let's get the back here flattened out a little bit more so we can get around the dop stick. Oops. 
You gotta hold on to your opal. We'll get this end up shaped up. Uh, get our little teardrop point on it. Take it down a little bit more. Make those uh, sides bubble out a little bit. We're excited. We have some uh, great cuts coming up. Uh, we're going to start breaking into some of our, our nicer opals. And uh, should be exciting. Some of the cuts we got coming up. Uh, I got some pretty amazing Australian opals and uh, Ethiopian opals to cut. And we still have quite a few Brazilians, beautiful Brazilian opals. So it's going to be an exciting uh, year coming up here. And we're going to be excited to uh, share it all with everybody let's get the bottom of this uh, flattened out a little more and we'll get around the top stick so we're using wax on this opal uh, usually we use super glue when we're doing the Ethiopian opals but um, I'm not afraid to heat this one up because it, it's uh, not hydrophane, so we're going to use wax on this particular opal. Perfect. Now we have her on a top stick, and uh, we're on the 280 wheel, and we're refining our shape so we can get some of the finer facets out of the, the stone and get some of the deeper scratches so we can get it uh, pre-polished because of the thickness of the opal we'll only be able to put a, a low dome on this opal but you know sometimes I prefer the, the low domes on the Ethiopian opal because it seems like the, uh, the pattern sticks more um, when you start putting the deeper domes, it seems like uh, the, the pattern can get more mixed up. Especially when you're cutting like the honeycomb opals. So keeping the shorter domes, domes sometimes on the uh, Ethiopian opal can bring out the pattern um, more uniform. Wow, look at the reds in that. Wow. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and giving us a like and uh, turning notifications on. We'd really appreciate it. And we put new content out every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every other Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here we are at Mineral Mine where we have a beautiful purple cubed fluorite specimen on Matrix with quartz points. It's a captivating geological formation that combines the vibrant beauty of fluorite crystals with the transparent elegance of quartz points. Fluorite is a mineral known for its stunning array of colors. And in this case, the crystals exhibit a rich purple hue, adding a sense of royal charm to the specimen. This specimen is set on a matrix which refers to the surrounding rock or mineral material in which the fluorite crystals are embedded. This matrix provides context and contrast to the vivid purple fluorite cubes, enhancing the overall aesthetic and appeal. We've moved over to the 600 wheel, uh, where we'll start our polishing process here and uh, get the opal ready for the cerium oxide. You don't want to put a ton of pressure when you're on the 600 wheel and uh, you're still losing opal, uh, very minute amount, amounts of it, but uh, when you're cutting high dollar stones, every carat counts. So uh, you don't want to put a ton of pressure. Uh, basically, you're starting 
starting the polishing process on this wheel. If you're just starting out opal cutting, I wouldn't recommend going right into uh, high dollar stones. I'd start off with practice stones and, you know, some pots and get uh, a few cuts under your belt and then move your way up. And as you get better and better, then you can start upgrading your stones. But uh, I, I would still be buying stones. Um, so later on, you'll have a good supply of them as you're learning to cut. As you're learning, it's, it, it can get frustrating. Um, but just keep, stay the course and... Uh, Eventually, you'll be cutting beautiful stones in no time. Hey guys, the new Opal Attic t-shirts just dropped. Check these out. And if you want to buy one directly from us, just send us an email to globalprospecting1 at gmail.com and we'll send you an e invoice to your PayPal account. Just give us your PayPal account email and uh, they're $19.99 plus shipping, but you can see these things are uh, great quality, and uh, or you can get them in our spring store down below. Uh, they're a little bit more in our spring store, but directly from us, you can get them cheaper. For the holidays, guys, get your loved ones some Opal Attic t-shirts. And now we moved over to the 1200 wheel. We'll move to these wheels quickly and we'll get to the completed opal. And now we're on the 3000 wheel. And if anybody's looking for a quicker way to get to our channel, you can go to letscutopal.com and it'll take you directly to our YouTube channel. And now we're on the 14,000 wheel. And then we'll move to the Syrian oxide. And we moved over to the felt polishing pad where we have it embedded with the Syrian oxide. And uh, we'll get our final, final polish on this beautiful stone. You know, if you're giving opals as gifts this holiday season, you're not just giving a gift. It's a piece of your creativity dedication, a tangible representation of the magic you bring to the world. Your ability to unveil the hidden beauty within these stones is nothing short of enchanting. In giving these opals, you're not just offering a gem, you're gifting a piece of the Earth's story, transformed by your hands into a work of art. The opals you've cut carry the essence of your craftsmanship, a testament hours spent perfecting your skills and the love poured into every moment. May those who receive your opals feel the depth of your artistry and the uniqueness that each stone holds. Your creations have the power to spark joy, wonder, and appreciation for the beauty found in the natural world. Through your work, you're not just crafting gemstones. Your crafting moments of awe and connection. If anybody's looking for opal to cut, you can go to our website, global-prospecting.com. There we have a wide range of opals from cutting rough to specimen grade. Uh, we have options that start off at 99 cents for cutting grade opals. So you can check us out at global-prospecting.com. And if everybody could leave a comment in the comment section, good or bad, we'd really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Um, with the algorithm to, to get us seen more. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next Thursday.